Group policy can be used for a lot of different things. And one of those things can be to configure the firewall. And configuring the firewall for the clients will help keep the computer safe from specific types of attacks. I'm going to switch over to our domain controller and then go in and edit group policy so we can affect the firewall on this particular computer. I can get to group policy from server manager by going to tools and group policy management. And from here, I can create a group policy object. And you see there's several already here. And I can do it at the root level or specifically at an organizational unit level. This particular policy should be applied to all client computers and servers as well. So I'm going to right click and choose to create a group policy object in this domain and link it here. And I'll just type firewall rules as the name. Now I can go ahead and right click on firewall rules and click edit. And we can see user and computer policies that we can configure. This is going to be a computer policy. So I'm going to go to computer configuration, policies, windows settings, security settings. And I'll go to the Windows Defender Firewall. I'm going to expand the firewall option and click on Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security that you see here. Now, I have the option for creating inbound rules or outbound rules. I'm going to choose an outbound rule for this particular one. And I'll right click and choose a new rule. One of the things that happens sometimes to users if they get infected, that they start blasting out email to try to send to other people this particular email that may get them infected as well. So I can stop that by blocking specific ports. So if I go to a port rule and click next, I'll leave it at TCP. I'm going to choose port 25 as well as 587. Those are the two common ports that are used for sending off email. Next, I'm going to choose to block the connection, as you see, which is the default. And I'll choose to use this for all different types of profiles. And I'll call it Block Outbound Email and click Finish. And there it is, all set up. Now all I have to do is to restart the computer. With a computer policy, as we've done here, you cannot just type GP update slash force and expect it to work. You need to do a restart. On a user policy, that is something that you can typically do, but it doesn't work for a computer policy because the policies are applied as it's restarted. When I go back into my Windows 10 computer, we can see at the very top is my block outbound email rule. Now you can tell which policies are applied by going into a command prompt and typing in GP result slash R. Now you need to have administrator access to see all of the results. Otherwise, you'll just see the user results only. So I'll scroll up and we see under applied group policy objects, we see the firewall rules. Firewall rules can be customized to supply the type of security you would like on your users' computers.